and Nabi Karim Rasulullah wanted to go outside. They had, had been keeping the surveillance outside of the house, but Nabi Karim Rasulullah took a mouthful, a handful of dust, soil from the ground and said, Shadal Vuju, Anadal Vuju, Vajalna Mim Vanayadim Saddam, Amir Khalfim Saddam Fakshanam, Homla Yusrun. If you are in a danger and your enemies are surrounding you and you are besieged in, in, the, in the enemies, you should recite this verse. Vajalna Mim Vanayadim Saddam. And you should puff towards your enemies. Inshallah, they would never be able to attack you. So this is a safety armament um, on behalf of the Holy Quran. And Nabi Kribrasam went out. And the enemies remained there waiting for the coming out of Nabi Karim al-Sallam. But he could, they could not see. Nabi Karim al-Sallam went away to the house of Hazrat Abu Siddiq radiallahu He was waiting there. And he had prepared two she camels, one for himself and one for Nabi Karim al-Sallam. And he had hired a person who was very full, fully aware of the ways of going and coming. He, he led them towards the cave of Sor, that is called Gare Sor, cave of Sor. Uh, its shape is like a Sor, therefore it is called Gare Sor. They went there, when they reached there, Nabi Karim Sallam suggested to him to take refuge there for the time being. Hazrat Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala look the sincerity of Hazrat Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala nobody can refuse the sincerity of Hazrat Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala this can be refused by a person who is not Muslim because this is the Words of the Holy Quran that he was very sincere. He requested Nabi Karim Rasam to stay outside. And he said that he would go inside first just to check the internal side, side of the cave. The concave surface, surface of the cave was not very high. A man could not easily stand there. And the convex surface of the, the cave was covered. That was without any shape. As the Abu Siddiq radiallahu entered the cave and began to check and began to, to dust, he began to dust all of the internal side of the cave. And here, Writer says that he began to to dust the cave with his with his lungi. When he dust, when he dusted all of the internal side of the cave, then there were two holes there. He filled up one of them by the pieces of his turban, and only one was left. He requested Nabi Karim al-Sallam to come inside. When Hazrat al-Sallam come inside, Hazrat Abu Siddiq radiallahu spread his, his knee, his thigh, as a pillow for Nabi Karim al-Sallam to take rest because the last few days Nabi Karim al-Sallam could not sleep properly. Therefore, he provided Nabi Karim al-Sallam with proper rest. And the hole which was left vacant, he put his toe, his thumb of his toe, 
in the in the hole and Nabi Karim Rasam was sleeping and a snake came there. It was a cobra. It was at, at sometimes in the lecture of Hazrat Moses by grace and peace of Allah be upon him. It was mentioned by Imam Abdul Karim Sharistani. Hazrat Moses may grace and peace of Allah be upon him. He told that there would be a snake who would be residing in a cave when Nabi Karim Rasam would migrate from Mecca to Medina Tayyiba. And that snake would be very, very lucky, very lucky snake, snake who will see Nabi Karim Rasam and he would enjoy the the visit of Nabi Karim Rasam. The snake did not try to to bite him, but he touched his foot, his toe, for many times just to make him sure that it was a living, a living thing. And most probably it was a snake. When he did not he did not remove his foot from the from the hole of hole of that snake, then the snake bit Hazrat Abu Siddiq Radiallah Ta'ala no and when it was severely panning, then he began, he burst into tears. And one, of, one drop of the tear fell down on the face of Nabi Karim Rasam. Then Nabi Karim Rasam opened his eyes. He said, what happened with you? He said, I think there is a snake. He has bit me. Therefore, on account of pain, Unvoluntarily, these drops of my my tears drop on drop fell on your face. Then he did not he did not move because he was believing that the poison is with with the snake. The antidote is with in my in in my lap. If death is there, the life is the here. If this sickness is there, the purity is with me. He did not care for any for any danger. Nabi Karim Rasam just gave his foot a puff and Nabi Karim Rasam put the saliva on the place of biting of the of the cobra. Then he was quite well and her whole of the knife. He was quite well, but on, at the time of his death, the same poison came back and account of that, that poison, he passed away. The cause of the death of Nabi Karim was also poison. The poison which was, was utilized by the Yehudiya woman while coming back from Khaybar, that was coming back once in a year. And for the last time, it came back for which Nabi Karim Rasulullah passed away from the world. Similarly, the cause of death of Azad Rabbu Siddiq, Radhi Allah Tala was the same. So look, this sameness of the causes of death is also a sign of sincerity. And the number of years of age were the same as the, they were for Nabi Karim Bala Sassam. As the Umar Farooq and Abu Bakr Siddiq lived in this world as many years, months and days, as months, years and days, Nabi Karim Bala Sassam lived, lived in, this year, in this world. So other things can be falsifiedly made, can be, can be fabricated, but the death and life cannot be fabricated. When the death and the cause of death are 
the coincidence in the same. They are not different from each other. It means that they were not fabricated persons. They were genuine persons and they did whatever was liked by the Vikram Rasa Sam.